All right, we're back here at the field. It's coming up on 2200. I haven't bid on the field yet, but I'm I'm waiting. Uh, the canola is all grown, but we're going to wait till daytime because I hate hate farming at night. So, slow everybody down here. Let's check out. They are at 34622. Let's bid a thousand. All right. Let's see if we can get it. Come on. Eight, nine, yes, we got the field for 35,622. Woohoo! Go us! Hit the end key. What field is that? Field 18. Ah, 67,245. Sell it. Woohoo! We got more money. <laughs> All right, so I'm going, I'm going to, uh, to make it daytime, and then we will, uh, commence in the harvesting so we'll be back in the day good night it's a perfect foggy morning 6 24 in the morning canola's ready combines ready tractors ready that's dumping feeding sheep <laughs> let's start up and figure out how much canola we got higher and jump out bye bye Zoom, he goes. I don't actually remember how much canola he got last time, because I didn't look it up. Silly me. So we're going to figure out how much canola we harvested. I'm hoping, I'm hoping with this canola. And I, I did look, and I'm going to look again, just to be sure that I don't do it. Oop. Again. Canola. Six, 630 at the inn. In. We're in agreement, right? We're going over there to the inn. Somewhere is the inn in the fog. Yes. Okay. Going to the inn. Oh no, chickens! Chickens are full. Alright, well he's busy. We're going to run and go get some chicken eggs. Where are the chickens again? Over here. Okay. So we've got some... We'll collect some chicken eggs. We, um... He'll be done pretty soon, and we'll put him on to field 10. Thankfully, canola is not nearly as voluminous as barley. So, open. Hello, chicken. Zoom. Got them all? Got them all. Open. Hello, chicken. Jump. I'm a fence jumper. I could compete in a steeplechase. Except for I don't like chasing steeples. I don't know why they always get away. I always have to chase them down. All right, where is this guy? How you doing over here? Oh, you're not done yet. Color me shocked. She finished. Did you actually get all of the grain? No, you missed a little. Well, wait a minute. How did you miss that? Like, the end of the field is one thing, but. That that's not the end of the field. It's in the middle of this part of the field. What is wrong with you? What are you drinking before you come to work in the morning? Other than Red Bull, because you go very very fast. Cough cough cough. Dust up my nose. So we have to to get this because it rains tomorrow, according to this, or hail. It looks the same. All right, looks like we are done here. Running, 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 running. I can catch up with you. No, I can't. I can barely keep up with you. All right. Where's my piece of paper? Where did my piece of paper go? Where'd the other one go? Oh, there it is, over there. Okay. 5,385 liters off of this field that we... What do we do with this field? We... Uh, fertilized, cultivated, and sprayed. Yes. And seeded too, but that's pretty logical. Okay, so now what I'll do, I'm going to empty it out, then I'll get him on field 10. Um, again, I'm not going to record field 10 because it's just too big. Um, but while he's working, I'm going to go and figure out what the yield was before 
that number sounds relatively familiar so we'll find out go I wanted to turn off your lights there that's better and turn that off all right so when he's empty here I'm taking him over to field 10 I'll get him started on field 10 uh, we'll harvest up field 10 go over and harvest up the other field over there um, I'll bunker everything again so that we have an idea of how much each field yields for us and um, yeah because I'm hoping we're gonna cover we're gonna clock over a million here and if we can if we can clear over say a million three I think at a million three I'll feel comfortable um, yeah, I think at a million three, I'll feel comfortable buying the windmill. So like a hundred thousand worth of pad, that would be good. Hey, sheep. And then uh, what are we going to do these fields in? I'll think about this. I'll, I'll, I'll think about what, what we're going to do the field in. And turn. Or don't. I don't care. Whatever. There we go. Off you go. Have a good time. Don't get lost. I know you're going to get part way down the field. All right, so we'll be back. Um, we'll be back when things are sorted. Hello, we're back. Um, it, it's been like no time for you, and it's been forever for me. Uh, the The fields are done. I, I harvested all, all three fields of cannoli. And I went ahead and fertilized the two big fields. Um, and there's a reason why I didn't fertilize the small field. But first, let's let's figure out how much cannoli we got. So, uh, where did my calculator go? Two six two nine five five one nine six three zero oh, five and five three eight five. Okay, so we got two six from the the big giant field that we got. We got 196,305 liters of canola. From the other field over here, we got 61,265 liters. I went and looked up the numbers off that small field, our test field. Now we cultivated, fertilized, and sprayed the field, and we got 5,385 liters of canola. When we fertilized cultivated fertilized the field we got 5384 liters so one liter that was the difference not enough for me to care so we got two things we got to do one we have to sell all that canola but first I brought the Ford up here because I, I I noticed from the the long 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 episode of emptying the silos that there's liquid manure over there and I, I started thinking well maybe I should test with liquid manure so we're over here to buy ourselves a liquid manure facility uh, facility haha <laughs> no liquid manure devicey thingy slurry slurry tank um, we're just gonna pick up this little Abby um, I don't I don't need a big one I'm just testing. It's pretty cheap. Actually, you know what? Maybe should I go with that one? I mean, we're just testing. Um, it's only a thousand liters. This is nine thousand liters. Yeah, I think I'm gonna go with the with this one. So let's go ahead and buy that. Very nice. Let's go get in the Ford. Start it up. Come on. Come on. Are you started yet? Yes, you are started. Except for it's not started in my ear. That's why. There, that's better. Now I can hear the tractor. All right, I can hear the tractor. All right, let's get our slurry tanker. Um, and actually, before I do that, let's tab over. Nope, wrong way. There we go. To this guy. I got him all lined up, ready to roll. 
You started yet? We good? Gravy good? Gravy good? Okay, we're gonna we're planting barley again. We're going to um, we're gonna do barley because I want to do hay. I'm gonna I'm gonna go ahead and, and bale the hay this next time. So we're gonna go ahead and get him started. So now we're gonna take the slurry tanker. Now let's go get some slurry. Some stinky cow poo. Oh, I also went uh, lawn mowing really quick. Um, enough to get that last bunker cooking because it was just going to annoy me. And like I said before, I'm, I'm thinking I'm thinking that tractor, the tractor, the front end loader over there, the lizard, thinking I might sell it. Just, just thinking. I don't know. Um, oh, I didn't speed you up, did I? All right, let's get in here and. So yeah, there's hardly anything in there. It's gonna take me like no time. So let's go and see about filling up our slurry tanker. Stop. Uh, do I need to hook it up first? There we go. Ugh. Okay, get out of it while it's filling. Oh, look at that. Very nice. I can't tell if it's costing us anything because, well, my money's going down from the seating. You full now? You are full now. Good. Okay, now let's oop, go to you. And let's speed this guy up. We're just going to go to there. There. Okay. So now we're going to go test if slurry is different than fertilizer because I mean if it's not then maybe I move to fertilizer or not the fertilizer to slurry maybe <laughs> I don't know uh, I mean these Abbey slurry tankers aren't nearly as good as the in-game ones because the in-game ones have the big spreader bars on them this would take me for ever to do the um, the big field here but I don't know it might be worth it we'll see we'll see all right let's go ahead and do this first and then I'm gonna run all of that canola over all right I have to remember what is the spread on this tanker just kind of go like this I think we might have to make a couple trips I'm, I'm thinking <laughs> All right, let's go with that and then turn it on. You good use for slurry though, because you know why waste it? Bad to use too, sheep. Better to use it than to waste it. Learn that from my grandparents on their farm. They had a bucket of bent nails. And if you were making something that wasn't going to be, you know, important, like maybe trellises for the strawberries or something like that, something that wasn't really, you know, big deal, you had to use the bent nails. You had to go hammer the nails straight and use the bent nails because, well, because. Because <laughs> otherwise you were in trouble. So never waste a thing was their uh, their mantra. All right, let's get there. There, yeah, that should work. Oh no, nope, not quite. Don't quite have the spread. I don't think for that. It's okay. All right, we'll just turn around, do this last little bit. There we go. Excellent. All right, so I'm going to go and just park the slurry tanker up. Mmm, slurry. Can I open? Yep. Oh, look, you can open hatch. Oh, look, there's some poo. Closed hatch. 
So that, that sprayer there, not really all that useful. I'm going to keep it for now. Um, but it's probably, I'm probably going to get rid of the sprayer. There. Ish. That'll work. That'll work. Okay, so let's sell our canola. Where's canola? Canola's that one. Canola's the one I tried to get the barley out of last time. Okay. Oop. That's not going to work. There. Because I want to sell this this canola and see what kind of money we get off of that. Go. How's he doing over here? Where is he? Oh, he's over there. Excellent. Okay. Cool. I'm also thinking I'm going to sell the... Uh, oh, good grief, that takes forever. I'm also thinking I'm going to sell the other cedar, the little red cedar. Well, little. I'm thinking I'm going to sell the red cedar and pick up uh, just a small cedar for that little field. Um, no reason to, to keep running in a more expensive cedar. In fact, if we look... See, I don't think I have anything really... I mean, I have one cedar. I have this sewing machine, which is a two-meter working width. I'd have to buy a... Um, uh, I'd have to, to buy a cultivator to go along with it. So if we leave the mods for a moment, and we go over here to the sewing machines... I'm thinking of picking up this three-point seed drill. It's $30 a day versus this one, which is $100 a day. This sells for 48 This buys for 26 so we'd actually, you know, be in the positive. So that's what I'm thinking. You guys let me know, let me know what you think. I'm thinking sell the lizard, sell the horse, get the uh, three-point C drill. Let's make sure we go to the right spot. Canola... 631 at the inn. That's where we want to go. The inn. <laughs> so yeah, I'm thinking sell the horse, get the three-point C drill, sell the lizard, because really right now, silage, I don't think it's going to make us all the, that great of amount of money. And any little bit of silage I do, I can just use the Ford for. Oop, I'm going to drive right through the place where all the people hang out <laughs> and drive through dinner. How would you like to be eating dinner and a tractor goes by? Okay. Let's unload this. Lovely. Lots of wonderful, wonderful monies. How far, how much of that field do you think he's got done? The killer is really refueling these tractors. <laughs> Spend a lot of money refueling these tractors. Okay, so we're up at 777, which I think is what we were at before we bought stuff and harvested stuff. Oh, good, he's almost done. Oh, sweet. So we'll just have to do a couple quick back and forth runs on either end of the field to clean up those messes. And, um,. Are you going to clear? Barely. You will barely clear. Wonderful. All right. So next time I need to remember to not set them right at the edge of the field, just to be sure. But there he goes. Zoom. All right. Let's oop, 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 turn. There we go. Okay. We'll turn that guy off. We Stop. <laughs> All right, let's clean up the edge of the field ourselves. And right about like that, I think. Now I can get that a little bit better. Like that. Nah, there. Okay, now I need to use... I actually have to do one and then immediately drop that all the way down and then stop and back him up since I had one way too high. All right. Oop, oop, there we go. All right, let's lower it. Let's get the right device, lower it. Turn it on, hit one. There we go. Nice. 
cool. And if we miss one spot or two spots, I'm not going to be broken up about it. I just want to get the majority of this this stuff all seated, all nice and purty. So we'll have a nice field of barley. Yeah, there we go. I'll run over to the other side and do the other side as well. Where is that? All right. I don't need that right now. Um, and I also got the kid in the trailer over there for lawn mowing. Not really sure I want to continue doing that either. I mean, that's really a pain in the butt. And obviously if I sell the lizard, there's little reason. We really did it initially to because it was a good, good way to make some coin right off the bat when we were kind of scraping the bottom of our financial barrel. Lower, turn on, let's go. There we go. Nice. So then I think... Do I want to have this guy go over to the big field? It really doesn't matter, does it? Well, I do have one thing of sheep bale. Eh. I'll probably just take this guy over there. He's got more fuel anyway. <laughs> uh, Alright. Stop. Raise. Go. Uh, but I have to go to the top of the hill. Booger. Oh well. We'll just go to the top of the hill and... and sort that. Or do I? Let's lower that so I have less stuff in front of me. I'm going to let him go and I'm just going to watch him on the uh, on the, the thingy up top. I know, highly technical name. Um, the Spectre mod. Oh, I thought those were lined up. I guess not so much. Um, just to see if he'll if he'll not screw up. <laughs> Come on. There, get it straight. There, okay. We're going to hire him. Speed him up. Okay. This guy. Let's make some more money. Away we go. So the day finally cleared up all that fog we had burned off. I want to get everything planted because if we look at our weather tomorrow it's supposed to rain so for that reason I want to get everything planted um, I'd like to take that sheep's wool in and get that sorted as well because um, that will be good and uh, yeah then when it rains tomorrow no big deal we'll just let it rain Yeah, and I think we've got, what do we got, one more trip of this, we think? No, two more trips. Three more trips, even. Well, that's not bad, though. Three more trips. We probably are going to push over... Well, let's see. We were about 30,000 down, so... Uh, it's about 40, just shy of 40. So we're probably going to be at just under 900,000. So we're just going to be shy of what we need for a windmill. But, um, yeah. Well, we'll make do. And, oh, I can sell my eggs. I got 105 eggs on me. That would be good, too. So this... This has actually been a really good, uh, let's get that off of there, really good. I mean, we get we made a lot of money on barley and barley straw, mainly. <laughs> That's where most of our money came from, is really that straw. Is he going 40 miles? Okay, good. He made a turn. Let's go check him out. Nope, other way. Yeah, he's doing all right. Cool. 
He's still filling up. Okay, so while they're doing that, I wanted to go look at my mods again. So if we go over to, oops, mods by type, bailing equipment. There we go. I'm thinking I should pick up one of these bigger, bigger ones because, I mean, it's 90,000. It's bigger. I'm going to get more in there. Put it with a super chaser. Because otherwise, I'm going to have to use... I'm going to have to get a hireable crone. Yeah. Yeah, I think I'm going to... I think... Well, you guys tell me. What do you think? Can you get the Fent? Or the Massey or the New Holland? It doesn't matter. But get one of these bigger balers and the uh, super chaser or do I go and buy the regular in-game stuff or even deal with the hireable stuff you guys let me know what you think about that you gotta wait on everything to grow anyway what do we got again in there okay yeah two more trips one full load and one like nubbin load so yeah we did really really well I think um, I want to get these last bits delivered, and then I'm just trying to see if he's if I can even see him out on that field. I can't really. Um, then I'll put this guy to to work on that other field. So things I need from you guys: Do I sell the lizard wheel loader um, and kind of get out of mass silage business? Um, do I? sell the horse not uh nine meter sower and get the three point c drill just for that small field do i what else did i was i going to do huh there's something else i asked you guys oh do i get the big bail big baling equipment or do i get the in-game baling equipment or even use the hireable straw mod baling equipment um, and then I can just sell that stuff. So you guys, you guys, let me know what you think. Um, he's got many, many passes to go over there. <laughs> so we got, um, yeah. So that field's done and ready to roll. We'll uh, seed the other field here as soon as we deliver the last of our canola. Whoa, 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 whoa! Calm down. Do we have how much more canola do we got again? See, I can't remember for nothing. Okay. All right. Cool. Um, what else was I gonna do? Uh, oh, I should probably sell that sprayer, shouldn't I? I'm not gonna use that sprayer again. Yeah, I think I'm gonna sell the sprayer. You guys don't need to watch me sell the sprayer. <laughs> I want to see how much money we're gonna make. Come on, hurry up, fill, fill faster faster come on fill up there so we're we're halfway through the season we've got nearly a million dollars in the bank we're doing pretty well we've got the biggest one of the biggest fields not the biggest but that was the goal was to pick up that field anyway um, so once I get rid of the profi hopper to uh, and use the kid instead, I don't know about that. I, I the profi hopper is just sort of it just works, <laughs> and it also gives me like a tab two vehicle that I can just park over there by the sheep, then lets me push their uh, their pallets off, which is also kind of an important thing for me. Yay, because I can't always get a front loader over there, especially since I'm only running two tractors. I hear it. I know. I hear it. By the case. I know. I hear it. Here's the thing, though. What do we... If we sell the wheel loader and the sprayer and the... Yeah. And the horse, get the three-point, get the big baling equipment then we might be able to make 
a case for the case. See what I did there? But otherwise, I can run these this farm on two tractors right now. Because um, doing more than that, I have to buy another another piece of seeding equipment. And quite honestly, um, I don't feel like it. <laughs> this map is really this map is really a map designed for multiplayer. The size of the fields and all of that, it very much feels like a multiplayer designed map. So might be something that'll make a return at some date in the future when uh, Giant Server is out. But um, then, we, then we can all hang out together in Central Kansas. But until then, I, um, yeah. As a single player map, this map is tough. The size of the fields is just... Unless you're doing canola all the time, you, you can get away with it with canola, or if you're plowing under your straw. But or cultivating, I guess, under your straw. But trying to to make every penny count and and do every bit. Here we go. Almost nine hundred thousand. It would have been nine hundred thousand except for the the cost of the 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 slurry tanker and the hired help. But honestly, I couldn't do it without hired help. This map is just not just not conducive to running solo. Uh, Alright. Drop that off there. Cool. So there we go. Um, I think we'll stop it here. Episode 10. It's kind of the continuation of episode 9. Um, all one big long episode. Let's just call it that. So next time um, I will sell this Porsche if you guys say that I should, barley, uh, and get the three points, I'm going to sell the sprayer. It is gone. It will not be here for the next episode. I can almost guarantee you that. Um, tell me about whether you want me to do the the um, the lizard. Whether I should get rid of the lizard, and he needs to go faster. And what do we do about baling? Do we get the big baler? Do we get the straw mod? Which is just... Um, oh my goodness, dude. Um, which is just... Uh, um, rented equipment. Or do we get the in-game baling equipment? So, until next time, I'm getting out of this tractor before I, I get seasick. <laughs> Go. Alright, until next time. It's been Derek Tebbers, playing Farming Simulator 2013 here in beautiful, sunny central Kansas. Bye. <laughs>